Your style hotter than a fever. Burn up, baby. You different from others. You are. I love your demeanor. You took me back time after time. <laughs> even though I hey guys, today is Cooking with the Lassers again. Today we are making beef stew, pot roast stew in the pot. We're not going to put it in the oven, we're putting it in the pot. So the, these are the ingredients. You're going to need some carrots. You're going to need some your beef, this is beef chuck roast that Rayshawn cut up. We got some potatoes and some onions. You're going to also need some gravy master. So, yeah, that's what we need. So, like we always do, guys, put a little oil in our pot. Because what we're going to do is we're going to saute the onions. And we're going to also start browning the beef stew. That's what the onions do. So, we'll let this saute for about four, four to five minutes. That's going to get a little wilted down, then we're going to come back to our meat in. These are our seasons we're using. I'm using some Goya adobo, some Tones black pepper, some Food Line brand chicken flavored bouillons, some McCormick garlic powder, and then the gravy master. We go to we go to cheating way to making gravy. It's, it's the best one right here. The easy way. The easy way. I'm sorry. The easy way. Cheat way. It's not cheat. All right. So our onions are. Caramelize a little bit. Well, I'm going to put the meat in the onions and caramelize a little bit. Okay, I'm having a hard time. Hey, what's the season? I have to start the meat up first. Let me get, let me get a little black, a little brown. Is there So we're gonna come in with our garlic powder. So, and you don't let this sit and saute for a little while, but we're gonna start working on our gravy mixture. We'll be back. So now we're doing, we got, we got some flour, making our gravy mixture. All right. flour with the gravy master 
So using a little bit of adobo and a little bit of black pepper. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Alright, now you're going to start pouring your water in here and stirring it up. <clears throat> what, Georgie? You know, make sure you get all the clumps out of it. There's a little bit too much flour, but it's all right. Not a lot of flour. Get the edges, because I see a lot of flour over there. This is our gravy mixture. So now the meat is brown, as you guys can see. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Then we're gonna start putting everything together. We're gonna put the potatoes, the carrots, the bouillon, and then we're gonna pour the gravy mixture. So here's pressure putting the potatoes in. We like red potatoes. You can use russet potatoes if you want to. But the red potatoes, you can leave the skin on and it still be tender and good. But the russet ones, I don't know about no skin on those. Cause it was a little rough. So I wanna give this a, mix that up. a good little stir. If I can hold the spoon right. All right, and we're gonna pour the carrots in there. Yes, I'm using a whole bag of carrots. Some people use a half a bag, but we're using a whole bag because it's gonna be a nice hearty meal for us next week. So. So we're gonna open up two chicken bouillons. Bouillons. However you see it. Let me mix it up. No, 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 no. It looks pretty and colorful. Alright, let me go. Let me go. That looks good. I mean, cooked all the way yet. The beef bouillons too. Oh, these yeah, are the too salty. But I had these, so I, know, I, I use what I have. So you're gonna put those. Two, you don't gotta mix it. Those two, and then you're gonna come in. This is how the gravy mixture should look after you're done. And then I'm gonna add some more water to this bowl and mix it again. Come up to us, bowl. Well, I'm gonna mix it up. Come on, it's all right. Yeah, so we got everything in there. Got your gravy mixture, <clears throat> got your potatoes, your carrots, everything you need for a pot of beef stew. We're just gonna put the lid on this and let this cook. I might even add a little bit more water so it can cover the top so this mm -hmm. could cook. But other than that, pretty much. Put the lid on it, let it cook, let everything get tender. Yeah. And y'all beef too. And we'll be back with the finished product. Alright. Alright guys, here's the finished product of the beef stew in the pot. Look at all that goodness. Oh, that's so good. And this is the end of the beef stew. This is how it came out. As you can see, the potatoes, the carrots, the beef on the rice.